Hi, I'd like to talk to you about the Brimal MR322 point motor switch and the Brimal CD105 Titan capacitor discharge unit. When using a discharge unit, the point motor switch is powered by a regulated power supply into the first plus V and minus zero V on the left hand side. The CDU output, positive output, goes to the center terminal and the output from the MR322 to the coils goes to C1 and C2 which then goes to a terminal block and then is fed to each of the point motors of which we have five here. So, just stick that there. Right, we'll switch on the MR322 which is these two wires here. We'll now switch on the CDU which is being fed by 16 volts AC and out of it comes 16 volts DC of which the DC goes to the 322 and then is fed through these wires here. The negative of the CDU goes to each of the point motors. When we switch on the MR322 the status of the LED will tell us which state each of these point motors was when you switched your layout off. So if we now use the point motor switch all the point motors have now changed state the CDU has discharged and then recharged. We'll do it this we'll now change them back again. All five have changed state. So we can carry on doing this for as long as we need to. The one advantage of a CDU is that with this switch in an up position or a down position it stops the CDU from charging and therefore passing any more current to the point motors. For example, if we go down and keep it down by mistake, the CDU is not charged. So there is no voltage going to any of these until you release it. Once it gets to the biased center point, it allows the CDU to charge up again. Same applies on the upward. Obviously you shouldn't leave it going up for more than a second or two but I'm just showing that it's not going to damage them because the CDU cannot charge until you release the point motor switch.